usual procedure, we'll have Coach K give us uh, just his thoughts about the game, and then we'll uh, throw it up for, for Q and A for the players, and then keep Coach. Coach, your thoughts? Um, you know, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Nelson and uh, Midwestern State. They got a great team. Uh, he's doing a great job in his first year, and uh, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, really happy for him. Uh, next, I'm just I'm really happy, uh, really proud of our guys uh, and the accomplishments that they made this year. Uh, you know, just just really proud of how they fought. Uh, Midwestern State uh, really dictated us the second half, and I think that was the difference. I see that they shot 65 percent in the second half, and I know pretty much throughout the half it was high 70s. And uh, you know, we held them 29 in the first half, and uh, they ended up getting 48 on us. Just really couldn't keep their guards in front of us, and uh, they played exceptionally well second half. But uh, to play in, in this region's championship game, uh, I think is a, is a big accomplish, a big accomplishment, considering how deep and how good it is this year. Um, so, so I, you know, just really, really proud of our guys and, and uh, how they stuck stuck together through this. Thank you, Coach. And we'll take questions. Uh, we do have a microphone again, just for radio purposes, for um, Matt and Mikkel, if you'll just let them. Matt, I'll just start with you. Can you explain kind of what the difference is the second half? It seemed like the scoring really picked up. Part of that was due to you. You were hitting some shots, and then they came right back at you. I think you got the lead on them a few times, but it, uh, you know, it was really back and forth. What, what kind of changed there? Uh, I don't really know. We just kind of got in a rhythm, but it seemed like every time we started the next round, From your point, uh, what what made Midwestern tough to to deal with on the you know on the offensive end with your defense? Well, one of the problems we had was offensive rebounding. We we would just keep tipping and tipping, and somehow it just fall in their hands, and it's an easy putback. That's what the game came down to: is rebounding and stops. We just couldn't get one in, in the clutch situation. Congratulations on a great year. We'll keep coach for just a few more minutes. Thanks for coming. And again, uh, we'll pass the mic for Coach Clint, uh, Coach Kostman. Coach, it seemed like after Haney hit a couple of threes and uh, that, that Nelson went to a uh, four small lineup with just one big and Grayer kind of changed the game. I mean, did you, did you feel that happening with his drives? And he was rebounding like a big a little bit. He was unbelievable tonight. Second half, uh, he just he just totally dominated us when he when he had the ball. It seemed like you know it, it seemed like uh, every every time he got it, he got in the middle of the paint, was either dropping it off, kicking it out, or just scoring. Uh, we just couldn't stay in front. You know, uh, you said we, we hit a couple of shots, but then I think uh, J Mike just came down and he hit he hit huge ones and. Uh, Seemed like we could never get something going because they'd come back and just hit an unbelievable shot themselves. It seemed like all the flurry of scoring actually, e even when you were scoring right in that sequence, got, got the crowd really into it. Could you, I mean, could y'all feel that? And was there an intensity pickup? Oh, the energy in the building was unbelievable. You know, you could you could feel the energy when we walked in at 5:30 with the people in the in the stands and, and everything. You know, uh, Midwestern just really had great support tonight and I thought they fed out the crowd and that was one of my concerns. Uh, 
it was a big time atmosphere out there and uh, they rose to the occasion and uh, you know uh, provided them with a lot of energy uh, especially when they're hit shots it just created a lot more energy for them defensively Was there anywhere you thought you might be able to cause them more problems but then when it developed it didn't you know as it as you hoped um you know i was i was disappointed in the fact that will paul didn't uh, didn't get to play very much due to foul trouble you know because he he puts a lot of pressure on the defense because of his ability uh to pick and pop spread the defense a little bit so when he went out just kind of kind of closes the floor up a little bit um you know i thought we could exploit them in that and we had with tarleton in west texas and uh we weren't able to get that opportunity, especially in the first half. Uh, but then we were tied the first half because we, we were, I thought we were defending a lot better. The second half, we just came out and uh, didn't defend. And we were, when we made baskets, we were just trading. And you can't trade with Midwestern. We have a final question for Coach before we let him go. Coach, congratulations on 25-plus wins last two years. And I want to wish you good luck in the office. Thanks.